Hello everyone and welcome back to Dominions, our expansion of Amor campaign. Let's end this turn. Whew. Alright, more stuff. Battle in White Forest. Alright, they're trying to do a counterattack on our army there. I don't think they're going to be able to... No, there's no way. Was it some undead? Kalian Long Deads. Yeah, that's not too scary. Though I don't... Oh yeah, there we go. There's our priest. I was like, wait, where's our priest at? Way in the back. Doing some sermons of courage. Hopefully we'll go into some banishments here soon. Well, alright. That was quick. Undefended province of Hergendorf. Battle in Osense. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yep. Those troops aren't going to provide any challenge to us. More undead. I'm kind of surprised. At the uh, undead. Undefended province of couple have been covered by the enemy. Bogger of what has been conquered by the enemy. Good gosh. Province resources plus 25, population minus 70 in blue coasts. Okay. We are under siege, but the enemy cannot harm our walls. We start to destroy the gate of fort in White Forest. Wow. Okay. So that army moved south. Cut off our army assaulting them. We're being attacked by 20 units. Ogres. Okay, so they're just coming at us with very small forces now. Okay. That's not a problem. Triari. Put you right there. And we will put you guys in a line formation. <laughs> not like they have that many, but they'll get there. Uh, line formations do move slower than box formations, so I'm putting these troops back to give them time to move up. I may not be back far enough, but it should be alright. Okay, let's break the siege. You continue to stay there. Army set up. Move you guys in there. Alright, I'd say that's a sizable enough group there. Magnus, you need to go to the front. This gladiator army I have to be careful with. I only want to use them in a battle that is uh, really going to utilize the numbers. I was hoping to go up against these guys. But now they're running away. Hmm. Which is unfortunate. Is, so there's only 20 units here. That's not really going to be worth using our gladiators for that. <laughs> so I'm going to need to combat them with a bunch of smaller forces. And hold these gladiators in reserve. Thinking. We'll do that. Let's grab another centurion here to move those lizards when... You have a decent number of them. Hmm. I'm thinking. We can still use some more Equites of the Sacred Child, I guess. That's fine. Okay, you. Do you have any more heart respects? No, we do not. Probably have more for Dark Knowledge, though. Yep, alright. Very good, so you do that. You're staying there. What's our recruitment again? Mage? Very good. And... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where are they going? My guess is down here to try and kill Avernus. 
That's my guess. Sixty-two Astati versus Raptorian Warriors, Archers, Kavi Archers. Two mammoths. Hmm. Do we stay or do we leave? I say we leave. Let's go this way. They're most likely coming down. We'll come back up, uh, meet up with Opius, and then probably march back down. Or not. We'll see. Janix is going to stay there for this turn. But at the same time, I don't want to leave this castle under siege. Uh, we have 180. Uh, be like a huge waste of gladiators. But they are also cheap. So let's break the siege. Then we'll spend some money to improve our defense, our garrison there. Yeah. It's all good. But the gladiators are in their freedom. Battle and Troll Canyons. Should be a pretty easy one. Ooh. Actually, it's not going to be an easy one. Did they really move their army south, predicting my move? That's not good. Oh, no, that's not good at all. Oh, these poor Stati. Oh, no, the trample. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't even get to kill any of them. Ouch. I'm shocked they predicted my move. Oh my god. Where are all these mammoths coming from? Holy crap! Holy crap! Are we gonna be like 15 mammoths here? I don't know where? No, okay. Huh. Was not expecting that. They countered my move. Well, that changes things. Alright, now we need to move this army out that way. Um, these guys need to start striking out and moving that way. And we need to recruit some more Triarii. That's still fine. Hmm. So we'll attack again. Yeah. Wow. 120 units. I need. I need more scouts. I was only expecting 20 ish, like they said. Um. Are we breaking down their walls at White Forest? Yes. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Kalem. Right, I forgot to send you up here for the mummy place. Yep, forgot that. Whoops. Alright, no more signs for you. Let's just put you on research for right now. Speaking of, let's check on that. Level 4, we were going for level 6. Flame eruption, level 5. Shadow blast. Death Gems required 1. And then Falling Fire. That's it. Falling Fires. Level 5. Okay. Okay. We need more level 3 Death Mages. Or Elder Augurs. Alright, so you're moving. You're staying. Hmm. Let's 
Since they want to take this so badly, I'm going to put a lot of money into it. That way, 10 units can't take it. Like, these guys can't just fly over and take it. Because I'm tired of that happening. Alright, everyone researching? Or doing what something? Alright. Got another throne, no problem. Another paddle in Aramore. Blackhawks didn't do anything. The Cradle of Life. Alright, yeah, that's easy. This should be easy. They are starting to wear our numbers down a little bit. Alright. Okay. So now, let's do the, this. Put you guys over there. Attack rear. Unfortunately, I don't have any people to bless those equites. That is unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> and then there's their army again. So now let's move in there. Let's move our scout out. You enter sight. We need more lizards. Also need more standards. Let's grab two of them. And do you have money? No, we don't. Let's have to recruit more casters. But we do now have falling fires. I now have the option of moving some of our researchers up to the front lines. Uh, do I want to do that? I do. Yeah. I'm going to move the bishop with the sacred tribe with them to keep them healthy. And now, since we also can get level 3 death magic, that kind of makes me want to go down in the enchantment route to grab uh, spells like Raise Dead, Hordes of Skeletons, things like that. Although we only need level 2 death magic, which they're going to have guaranteed anyway, which is even better. Reanimate Archers. We can definitely do that too. I don't know if I've ever done Reanimate Archers. Tin Well prepare corpses and gives them false life. The skeletons are then equipped with magic bows, fueled by the power of the underworld. Arrows fired from these bows will burst into green flames of bane fire. Flesh exposed to bane fire will start to fester and decay. That is pretty cool. That's going to take a while to, to research, though. Which means we need more researchers. Which means I need to go up here and finally take that province over, build a lab, and get some sages going on that. But we need to secure this entire front line first before I do that. Okay, so they're moving in. They're moving in to protect that. Hopefully this army goes up there and we meet, we meet them there. Um, or maybe not, hopefully. Now that I'm thinking about it. Triari. Let's move you up here. Because they're going to meet our province defense, which is going to be in the center. So let's adjust for that. And hold an attack. Okay. Why not? Uh, let's do this. We want to match them up with the other Chirari coming in. There we go. And we want you off to the side. We want you off to the side. Don't want you just getting trampled. Same thing with you. And you. 
Stay behind, stay behind. Stay behind, okay. I think that's all I want to do. So hope this goes well. Battle in Copper Woods. Come on, gladiators. Oh gosh, now they got griffins? Defense skill of 10, which is great. They're going to be hitting pretty hard, though. But they're going to get hit. They also have 43 hit points. Jeez. Ah, I didn't protect them, though. Yeah, one or two elephants at a time is going to be easy for gladiators. Even have... What, what are the heck are they? Green wyverns? Or just normal wyverns? Yeah, some decent stats there. And a barbed tail magic attack. Cool. Yeah, net those flyers. Yeah, and here come our equites. Uh-oh. Don't get trampled, equites. That's not what you're there for. There we go. Mammoth's gone. There's that thing. Equites holding up the front line very well. Gladiator's gone. Another battle in White Forest. Good gosh. I mean, we're winning, but they are slowly still bringing this army down. Repeated attacks. How many did we lose that time? Six. That's not bad. Alright, unexpected event. A wave of religious zeal has swept over the province, and a group of lowborn soldiers committed to your cause join your army in Bogger Wold. So, what are we talking about here? Accensus. <laughs> One of our worst soldiers. Um, still, they are free. And their defensive skill is still great. They're not going to hit much, but they are not the easiest to hit, either. They also have javelins. Okay. That sounds good to me. Let's combine these Triari together. How many do we get? 54. Oh, perfect. You can control 55. Fire closest. Uh, we're going to want them to provide support. We don't really want them on the front line because uh, we want them to use our javelins, so they're going to be in the back. Now what to do with this army now that we won? Hmm. Maybe try and take them out. Do they have any mammoths? They do. So they shouldn't be able to move into this province, which means they're probably going to be moving... Maybe there. We can try to cut them off. We can try. I'm thinking. Our Triari are gonna be crushed by those mammoths, though. But with, you know, 54 of these senses coming up behind them, all their javelin fire, hopefully, hopefully, they can bring them down. Hopefully. Okay. Let us move out. We're going to need some more magic items. Uh, some more cauldrons. We have enough for that. So let's forge one more of those. Ugh, affliction. Okay, so we need to... After, after this turn, we're going to need to recruit another bishop to the sacred trial and make sure that these afflictions don't start stacking and we start losing those people. Alright, so mummy. Mummy, my mummy. Plague carrier. That's great. 30 hit points. Can't resist much. Magic resistance is great. Defense skill sucks. Attack skill's okay. Strength of 15, so they hit kind of hard. With strangulation. Extra effect on damage is a stun. That's interesting. 
And we get one a turn. Now I'm thinking, is this worth it? How many undead can you have? 90? So in 90 turns, we can have a full army of undead that are easily killed by, like, Kalem archers. Alright. We'll leave him up here for now. Okay. You're not quite yet full, so you need to continue getting some lizard auxiliaries. We can also recruit a mage. What are we doing here? I don't even have a lab here yet. That's not good. Alright, let's recruit a mage there. Hmm. Actually, we need army. We need some troops here. So we'll go with that instead. Maybe another scout. Okay. So let's also do this with some of the money we have left over. And we will put Magnus. On. Patrol. That way they won't be able to see just easily anymore. Oh gosh, it looks like they're bringing up more armies. Uh, but those are mostly archers. That's not a big concern for her status. Not that big of a concern. Okay. Thinking. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I almost messed that up. Okay. Proclamation from Ur. Battle in White Forest. It's going to be a lot of names you're going to see often. Seeing the mammoth is kind of scary. Nice. He's only able to trample what? Like one? One soldier? Two? He's a stadier holding out. After repeated attacks from these barbarian flyers. <laughs> oh crap, they're attacking the uh, Centurion. Ha! Ah, 31 damage! What? Really? Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, Copper Woods. Yep, thought they'd be coming back, but now I have troops on patrol, you dirty people. That's rude. I shouldn't call Caitlyn's dirty people. I mean, they're flyers. In reality, they're probably one of the cleanest people ever, because they got to keep those wings clean. If you want to think rationally about it. Uh, Crater of Life. So they did go where I thought they were going to go. Oh, but they didn't go with the full army. Who is this? Kathleen the Crystal Priestess? An Astral Mage, Priest Level 1. Huh. Alright, yeah, sure. Body Ethereal, that's annoying. Not good enough. Word of power. Alright. Unrest. The power of... Gadaris, the, uh, the Augur has foreseen a major event that will occur in six months' time. The power of the throne of night has been invoked. Night will take over day in six turns. Hmm. Oh, no. Really? That last attack did, did enough? All right, so they need reinforcements to continue the the conquest. Oh boy! Um, 
Let's move you that way. Move you out. I need more people. Oops. We are going to hold here. I'm I'm thinking they're going to come after us. So that's... We're going to hold there. Now we're going to have the backup of these uh, casters. We want them to cast... Ooh, Phoenix power. Fire magic bonus plus one. Um, one second. Fun fires. Area of effect three plus. So the area of effect of this is increased by one for every extra level the caster is. So it requires, what, two, three? Three. If we cast Phoenix power, we're going to have four level fire magic. So the area of effect is actually going to be increased by one. So that is what we're going to start with. Because it doesn't take any gems, does it? No. Okay. Excellent. So we'll start with Phoenix Power. Didn't even think about that. And then we will go with Falling Fires. And we're going to crush them. And then we're going to copy that. And just put those like that. That should be pretty powerful. Let's hope. And they are moving over there. That's going to be a nasty surprise for Kalem. You are almost ready to move out, but not quite yet. Seven gold in the treasury. Uh, we need to cancel you and make you a Bishop of the Sacred Shroud. And... How many of these guys do we have now? 28. That is a sizable force. Put you on research. Ooh, I meant to switch the research to... I talked about switching it to enchantment, but I never did. My mistake. Uh, that has been corrected. Now what? Hmm. I need to crush this army. God, they just have so many troops non-stop. Hmm. It's okay. Let's end the turn. I'm hoping we're going to see a good battle here. At the Cradle of Life. Yep, there is a battle there. Uh, start with Copper Woods. Oh, now nah, this is just getting pathetic. Really? That's all you're attacking me with? Cradle of Life. Okay. Cast those Phoenix... Oh, I did not move them. I was supposed to separate them. Move them uh, across the battlefield. So, like, they couldn't get killed by a random um, volley of arrows, but it doesn't seem that they're... That'd be fine. Hmm, first round of Falling Fire didn't do too much. This may suck if they cast Falling Fire on the- Oh! Alright. Alright. Fire darts? Actually, those fire darts seem to be doing okay, too. Flare? Alright, well... Falling fires didn't really do too much, but we only lost 12 units, so that's okay. Eight Exensus, which maybe a couple of those were to the falling fires, I'm not sure. But the important thing is, though, we defeated them. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Some more Astadi are probably going to lose their life, but we'll be fine. Now they should be running. Not running. Dying to the last. 
Huh. Ooh. Earth elemental. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so you should be able to move out. Hey, we're not going to wait for the one. We need you up there. And they already have another big army. Eesh. Okay. Well, before anything else, let's make sure that these guys are not all huddled together. That doesn't do anybody any good. But yeah, the falling fires didn't really do too much. I wonder if there's a better spell that we could cast. Hmm. Like they were going for flare. It's a long range spell. Large area heat shock. 19 plus magic damage. Whereas I guess this does only do 15 and that's it. It's just it can do a wide area. Hmm. I still think it's a good good spell. We'll give it another try. Spell fills the heart of the man with a furious anger. The raging unit will attack anything nearby, even friends. Okay. Does it affect doesn't affect minus beings. Okay. Are mammoths considered mindless? If you consider beasts, I don't know if they consider mindless or not. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. We will continue this on the next one. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Take care.